Action Hope from the Hey, what's up out there, everybody? How you doing? David Cravens from the Relentless Hope Podcast. I got my beautiful sandwich. You have to do this every time. Wife. How you doing over there? What's up, everybody? Jonna Cravens. Jonna Cravens on the Relentless Hope Podcast. Here I am. Hey, we want to thank everybody who's been um, subscribing, liking, sharing. Um, it's been awesome. It's humbling. We're just so grateful. We can't say that enough. Um, we're also thankful to our new sponsor, which is Nevin Sunglasses. Get on there, um, nevineyewear.com. There'll be a link in the description. Just, they're awesome, aren't they, babe? Oh, my gosh. They're they're amazing. They're I mean, so well made. They make my head look good on these things right here. <laughs> look at this. Look at that. <laughs> but for real, get on there. There's so many different styles. And, um, Check them out. Up. Go on there. And also... While you're at it, check out that clean cause. Um, it's a healthy drink supporting a good cause. And um, I drink a lot of this, Donna. And he's not going to spill it today. No, I really am not, Diana. What's up over there, Diana, Smack on the Diana controls? Spoke. Our homegirl, Diana, over there. We wouldn't be able to do this without her. We're high maintenance. She keeps it going. I'm going to drink this. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right. So who so, do we have here today? That's what I'm going to get into. I'm excited about these guests. And here's why I'm excited about these guests. Because besides my wife, they might have heard me lose my temper a few times <laughs> and maybe not be so Jesus. So I'm going to be on my best behavior, but they might have heard me before not on my best behavior. I think they already know. You. <laughs> but um, we've got friends of ours, but also they were our old neighbors. And let me tell you something. You don't realize how good of neighbors you got until you get new neighbors, mm -hmm. okay? And um, and I remember the first time we've got um, <laughs> I will <laughs> go ahead. Hey, uh -oh. Scott and Becky Guttery here. Hi. I was getting ready to get in to tell the story of how I how I met <laughs> the first time we met. I have to laugh. But um, how you guys doing today? Doing great, doing great. Thanks for having us. Yes. You guys are looking yep. good. Looking Thank good. I'm trying to here. keep up with you guys. No, good looking man. couple. You guys are good looking couple. Now, not only are they a good-looking couple, let me tell you about this couple. They had the beautiful house award in our neighborhood. Remember that? <laughs> yes. They were putting in work, and we had the redneck Seriously. house award. We <laughs> the most cardboard boxes. We had the most cardboard boxes. Yeah, we, in, we, in, we inherited a, be a beautiful yeah. landscaped yard, and so that, uh, that award felt a little bit stolen. No, you guys were putting work stolen. in out no, there, you though. Rocking. You guys were putting work the, in. I sent a picture of it to the people we bought the house from. I was like, hey, you guys won an award. <gasps> you no, did? You, yes. No, yes. you guys you guys were putting it in. No. But um, Scott and Becky was our neighbors before Hurricane Ian. Um, yes. we, got, we didn't choose to move, nor did they get us kicked out. Hurricane <laughs> Ian caused us to get moved, and we left. But um, the, a couple reasons why, not only do we love you guys, but I wanted to have you guys on here is um, our whole thing is about marriage. Our whole thing is about life. Our whole thing is about challenges. Our whole thing is about living life right in the way Jesus designed it for marriage and family and, and all that good stuff. And sometimes I believe that, you know, like John and I's story isn't the textbook fairy tale. There ain't no notebook. More like Urban Cowboy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if we had a love story movie, it's like Urban Cowboy. Not sissy the, and Bud. Yeah, Sissy and Bud. <laughs> but um, sometimes I think when people are married, and, and and not saying you guys are perfect. That's not what I'm saying. But and and you know they don't have all these crazy problems. Not saying your life has been everything, but I'm saying it gets overlooked. And we, yes. it's like somebody gets saved and they're like. Oh man, he got delivered from gangs and prison. Yeah. What about the guy that's been serving Jesus since he's been eight? Yeah, and didn't go down that road. Mm -hmm. That's what I admire. You show me a guy who's married to the same woman, who's raised his kids, who his kids went on to school. His kids are respectable. His, you, you know what I mean? Like great kids. That gets overlooked a lot. Right. So the thing about this podcast is it's real. We might have people on here to do this, but but. You know, there's a lot of people trying to get on here, believe it or not, which we're kind of like, you get on and talk to us. You wouldn't even answer our emails. <laughs> and, um, you know, you don't know how many times your devotion, if I've oh, been on yeah. your list that you put me on, I'll get to you. I'm a crier, by the way. But um, <laughs> that you've sent, and there's times that, man, I needed that that day. That's you know what awesome. I'm saying? Our, um, and we were talking off camera how you were the first person when our merchandise went live to buy a shirt, yes. right? That right. stuff 
means that a goes a long stuff. way to me. Yeah. You see what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and um, and then the hurricane too, of course. Mm-hmm. You know, guys yeah. helped us support us and all that. But um, the reason why I wanted you guys on here is because I want to share your story. I want to share the guttery story. You know what I mean? And and I know a little bit, but only neighbors. I mean, we knew each other yeah. good enough as neighbors. It ain't like I was over there looking your window going, oh, he likes pizza too. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, Stop. but you know, Reese and Trey, Trey worked for us. Yeah. That awesome was kid. Yes. Beast. For him. He was I a beast too. Trey. Strong. See him now. Oh, he's Jack. Oh yeah. Is I remember he, how old was he? Yeah. What? 16? I think Probably he was 15. 15, 15. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He yeah. no, because he yeah. didn't even drive. He didn't have his yeah. little truck so. or nothing. So you know, we moved pool tables. So their son Trey, and he's short, but he's stout. And I remember Strong taking guy. him to work, oh and I think it was the second pool table. Like we did one, it was upstairs, and I'm like, "Hey, bro, if you can't," he's like, "No, no, I'll get it." <laughs> I'm like, "I'm sure." And let me no tell fear. you, no fear, and did not tap out, bro. Like I, I seen his arm going up. I'm yeah. like, you know, I was like, go, don't go and tell your dad, man. He's gonna be mad at me." <laughs> But um, the, great uh, kid. That man. was a good experience for him. You know, that just teaches. That was his first job. Yeah. And yeah. um, and he's he had it. he's had two or three cents. And right now he's doing construction. And he wow. still says that was the hardest one. And yeah. That was really? good for him. That was yeah. Really good. For him. People don't realize it, and I don't want to be uh, beat in the head, but you know, not many guys will move three pool tables in a day and then go do. You know what I mean? It's yep. it it's it's grueling, grueling. plus. We're the complaint department, service department, yeah. you know what I mean? And and you remember some of the days you'd see us leaving, coming in, you know, or whatever. So hard work. But he yeah. he was he was and Reese, you know, the kids were always respectable and playing basketball. Fun fact, if you've ever seen our music video bass hit, it's, a good it's, video. it's their house and driveway and her robe. <laughs> On one of my workers or my <laughs> employees by that got we lost oh. in the hurricane was her infamous yeah. robe coming out of your driveway yeah. and your basketball goal that as video. that neighbor. So oh, that was and they and they never were like that to us. And plus, they probably heard me <laughs> lose my temper and cuss a few times. And oh, I do yeah. love Jesus, but I did lose my temper and cuss. Wait, what were you wearing? We got to I just oh, got to touch on this. What were you wearing when you met? Well, we know Mr. we Scott keep it real the on the time. the <laughs> Relentless Hope podcast. We keep it real. <laughs> We were talk. We were going over like living there when we first moved in and everything. And the first day, I, met, I had a shirt on that said "Vote for Trump." F your feelings, yes. but but, the, you but it was that? like I don't know. Do. Yeah, but it was <laughs> like asterisk, it was like F asterisk mark yeah. asterisk yeah. mark. Yeah. And um, and he this, comes in, and I'm like, I, she goes, I go, yeah, I told him, I told him we're Christian rappers. She goes, really, <laughs> yeah, like, really, feelings. I was like, oh well, I, you know what it means. Right. You, can, you can meet him any way you want. Like, and your mannequin, Trump. I remember the mannequin. Oh, Bob, oh. we still oh. got him. Yeah, he had a vote yeah, he 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 for Trump shirt <laughs> on, yes. which is crazy. But that was the first time we met, and. Chewy, Chewy, oh, our dog. Remember? Yeah, oh, he would come. Yeah, yeah, it was like a storm. Yeah. yeah, we just, it was like a storm. And I remember Jackson found, I found a dog. He just came up to me. Yeah. I gave him a laying bath. in the bed. Yes. Uh, oh, I forgot my God. that too. Oh, yeah. I, yes. And that was, now that's been, what, four or five years? That's been a while now. Because yeah. we just had came back from Tennessee. And um, and what you guys don't know too, is when we came back from Tennessee, we didn't want to move back. Mm. Right? We had some yeah. child custody stuff of why we had to move back. Because our life was going good. Our marriage, we got some counseling. It was, you know, so we came back kind of I always tell God kicking and screaming you mm-hmm. know what I mean so being blessed with you guys right from the beginning as neighbors you know awesome. a good family good cool. Christian people yeah. we were new to the neighborhood too yeah so you guys were, yeah. were our first neighbors that really we really you know talked to besides yeah. our meth heads with. yeah, yeah. Oh, the, <laughs> the, the, the house across the street man you guys helped get rid of that yeah that remember that I remember oh. one time stealing your water yes. yes remember they were stealing our water yes. one time I went to sleep and their car was blue and then the next morning it was red. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were out there. Painting. They were going into the pool house. <laughs> yeah, in, they were going into, into the our, actual pool house and stealing house. water. Yeah. Right? We were like, yeah. what? I was that? like, you know, we lived in such a beautiful place on the water, too. And yeah. I would, we drove by there not too long ago, which our house is gone now. No, right. ma- actually, the hurricane made your guys' house look better because <laughs> our we it got rid of all of ours. No. <laughs> I like that. House, no, man. it was. We had trees growing on top I mean, of really, it though? Cool. It was cool. Airplanes. Not too yes. long ago. It's funny, Jackson. He's he's growing now. He's 14. Just He's so much wise beyond his years, man. Mm-hmm. Like, like like me in so many reason ways but so mature more yeah. and like her in so many ways but um we said something he goes he goes you know because we live i'm thankful for where we got a house so quick 
yeah. you know, after everything. But the other day, Jackson was like, man, I really miss like our old house and our old neighbors and our neighborhood, yeah. you know, yeah. because they were spot. always out there. Yeah. Mornings. And our neighbors yes. get a little crazy and they, yeah. But um, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we won't go into that. We won't go into that. They might be listening. Yes. Yeah, well, we they might. Know. They might. They might subscribe. <laughs> I don't know. But um, all right. So that's that's how we we know each other. But here here's what I recognized real quick, and then I want to get into where you guys are from. You know, a little bit of what you do, what you do, and your story, and the boys, and you know your whole your whole story. But what I recognized quick, and and it took me not long was that you were Christians. Mm-hmm. You didn't come out and say, I mean, you would have guessed I was a Christian by my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, but, but I knew that you guys were a good family. And what do you mean by a good family? Well, you can tell, you know, you were the kids you were yes. taking at that time. I, you would leave and take them. I think you sometimes would leave earlier. You know what I mean? Like whatever. And, and then the boys were there and they always had friends over playing basketball. You know what I mean? Everybody always real respectful so too, respectful. you know? And so I knew that you guys were God-fearing people without even knowing it. And then as time went on, you know, we would talk and passing and doing whatever. Explain to them a little bit about, like, how you grew up, where you came from, and then how you, you know, came yeah. to do what you do now. And Yeah, so I was born and raised in Fort Myers, Florida, so a, a true native to Me the too. area. Um, and uh, grew up in a Christian home. Um, going to church my whole life, going to right. church every Sunday morning, Sunday night, and, and Wednesday evening. And um, I mean, my dad uh, was a pediatrician in town for 40 years, um, you know, Ed Guttery. My mom, um, her faith was amazing. I watched her have, you know, host women's Bible studies and mm. prayer groups in our house mm-hmm. for years. And um, so I, you know, I was, I was blessed with, with a faith from an early age. Mm-hmm. But uh, anybody who grows up in that environment, still, there's still a time when your faith becomes real, right? right. Like when right. does it become your faith and, and not your parents' faith? Right, so right. for me, that was uh, in college. You know, I went to college and, and my first couple years in college were probably the typical college years. Like I was partying and drinking and doing and, what you're supposed and, to and, do. And, and, yeah, <laughs> to trying to live the college life, right? right? right. And, um, and, and, and there was a time in my, towards the end of my sophomore year where I got involved with a, with a Christian ministry on campus and and then and, and then got asked to to be a part of the leadership team that was going to be up in front right leading right right wow. and and for me that that time I, I needed to get my life right all the way around right if i was going to be up leading and and, and teaching and, and being in front of people and um and so that was really a time for me where my faith became real and i had to make a choice right. all in and um and then the following year i i, I broke my leg and that was a big part of my faith journey as well, because I was, I was, you know, a basketball player right. in college and, and my identity, you know, was really well, wrapped sports. up in that. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And so when that happened and, and I was faced with a, a decision of whether or not I'd ever be able to play basketball mm-hmm. again, that, that was big for my faith journey as well. But, um, my wife, Becky, she was, she was a huge part of that as well. Um, mm-hmm. so we, We'll get into that yeah. later, but we met yeah. in second grade. Oh, and, wow. Uh, really? See? And, and I, so, uh, I knew this was, was going to be a yeah. love story. What church did you grow up in, uh, Gulf Coast Church of Christ. Okay. And it's, it was at the time it was McGregor Church of Christ. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and so now it's Gulf Coast Church of Christ, and they moved into a new building a few okay. years ago. But um, great church. I still go there. Right. That's um, crazy. And wow. so stability. Kids, That's called like, stability, yeah, guys. Yeah. Something yeah. I didn't know. But <laughs> Love yeah, you a lot of people don't. But no, my but. kids have grown up in that church, and uh, wow. we've got so many close friends there, and right. it's a great community. Um, yeah, and uh, love the preaching there. You know, Randy Simmons is the preacher that he's been there for. Shout like, out Randy Simmons! Years. You gotta give a shout yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah. Shout, shout out Randy out. Simmons! I mean, I think 40. Yeah, years, forty years. Wow, wow. that's that's He's stability. That stability, you don't find man. Preachers that's, that have been someplace that long. That's, that's that so goes true. back to what I was saying from the beginning. When when I say you know there's a good family, like growing up, my life wasn't stable, right? That's why the whole hurricane move. The the main thing about finding a house was to keep Nevaeh in the same high school because mm-hmm. I can't tell you a school teacher's name, right? Mm-hmm. And so I swore like my kids are going to go like Jackson went from the same grade school, same middle school. And yeah. you know what I mean? And, and he'll go to Riverdale, like where Nene is. But that's when I say, when I'm saying a good family, you know, when you there, a, a, there's a family that's stable, yeah, not, not perfect, but sure. stable. 
And then, you know, there's a family that's like, yeah, they're just working through it. You know yeah, what I mean? Right, and, yeah. and, and we're a family that's still working through it because we're blended and different. But if you go back six years ago, 10 years ago, three years ago, mm. even, you know, how God changes us. But that's what I was saying. I recognize like, hey, you know, dad it? goes to work, mom goes to work, the kids are there. Hey, how you doing? And that comes from how you were raised yeah. and having that foundation. Yeah. You know, I was raised with great parents. Right. And um, that's awesome. And, and, a, and a great faith. And, and then I met a girl that, that, that challenged me. Right. She challenged yeah. like from our first first date, you know, senior year in high school. She asked me questions that I wasn't expecting. Mm-hmm. And, and, and so she I, I had to be real because of the, the questions she right. she came at me with. And yeah. she's continued to really uh, push me towards growth, you know, right. in a closer relationship with God. And that's mm-hmm. that's. That's something I'm takes thinking. us to Miss Beck. I'm glad that's being recorded. So next time I challenge, <laughs> that's and right. Push you, we will proof. get you a clip with yes. the words She's on like, there, oh, I I it. It. It's it's and then you'll just you just send it. Like, hey, here's the clip. Remember, you said you said yes. it. You said you like. Yeah. All right, Miss Becky. So what about you? Where are you from? And yeah, well, so I'm from Fort Myers too. Well, that's born awesome. and raised, like you said. I mean, we met when we were in okay, elementary cool. school. That's so crazy. I was born actually in Naples. I was Ooh, born okay. in Naples. That's where we're at right now, baby. Ooh. I know. Yes. Southwest Florida, Naples. I think it's Naples. because it's where Lamaz was offered at the time, and so because we didn't live there. But yeah, then I did. I did live in Cape Coral for a few years, but I don't claim it. I'm Fort Myers <laughs> through and through. That's You're just Fort sorry. Myers. Myers through, through, like, Cape, Coral Cape Coral going no. over the bridge, but they do That's got so a lot of. True, they do got a lot of nice new restaurants. They do. Now. It is. It's yes. much. It's much nicer. It's we'll pretty cool spot. Pretty cool spot now. Yeah. Listen. Try. It is. All right, man, I'm going to say this. God forgive me. <laughs> I've lived in Cape Coral. I've lived in Fort Myers. Mm-hmm. And I live in Lehigh Acres, Florida. Oy. I don't know what you got to do to get a driver's license out that way, but it ain't much, <laughs> right? If you have one. Buy a scooter. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But driving from where we live now, from where, you know, used to, where, where yeah. you guys live, I'm 10 minutes from 41, yeah. and I'm 10 minutes from 75. Just to get into town now, right. takes, which I'm thankful, but... Them, I mean, I'm telling you, people drive crazy yeah. out there, man. It's crazy. That's our the son. Drive alone. Our son Reese is. He just finished his freshman year in college in, wow. in uh, Virginia. Yeah. And the first thing he said when he came home for Christmas break was, "He's like, I didn't know that driving was so bad down here." Yeah. Like, he Until you go somewhere else. Somewhere, he's like, "It's crazy." Yeah. <laughs> and Nevada's yeah, driving now. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's and you know, so it's it's so many it's people. Scary. Yeah. Right. But, yeah, so I so grew up here too, and um, I, it's it's funny. A lot of his story ends up being my story too, because we right. did we crossed paths pretty early on, and then um, and you know started dating our high school year, but but had you know kind of a little bit of a well had crushes on and off all through elementary, middle school. Um, but the common theme, you know, a few years ago, this idea of um, privilege was was a big concept, and a mm. lot of times in our country, it's spoken about from a perspective of race, but, right. but yeah. we kind of clung to that realizing how much privilege we both have to be grateful for. Wow. Really. That's a and good one. Yeah. yeah that we, I mean, we, every single privilege there is, mm. we've had, we both had married parents, both yeah. in the household, how important. Um, Christian faith foundation. So some sort of faith foundation that's right. giving you some sort of stability. Um, you know, education was never out of reach. We right. had parents that helped us with homework. We had, all those things. We both graduated, you know, college without any debt. Yeah, yeah. Wow. no, no Cars college debt. Owned, but but, like, but so listen to what you're saying. You're you're saying what's wrong with America. I mean, it ain't rocket. I'm not a mm-hmm. rocket scientist. I might have dabbled in it a little bit. But it's the thing is, what what you say? Your parents were both married. Mom and dad were both in the house. Both and nice. I would imagine, don't know for sure, but dad knew when to discipline. Right. Mom knew when yes. to love. Right. Dad knew when to discipline. Mom knew when to love. Yep. The foundation that the country's founded on. Jesus may not be what every church agrees, but right. you had a foundation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Goes back to how I can talk to somebody for 30 seconds and go and see it. Mm. Mm. Why? Because your parents were the way God intended it. Marriage works 100% of the time if you do it God's way. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Mom and dad's in the home. Mom and dad work. Mom and dad go to school. You go to church on Sunday. Hey, you don't steal. You don't do. It. Right. And then what happens? Well, you got to good kids you got good, you see what i mean right. it, it's not really far off what right. happens is we we split up the family you know right. and that was that's basically why i wanted you guys on here again i'm sure you've had challenges and we'll get into that 
but I knew without knowing that where you both of your guys' background was going to come from. Right. It's like, yeah, you mentioned too about testimony, you know, the, the, the exciting testimony sometimes right. are the people brought out of addiction, Drug addiction right. Right. jail, trauma, childhood abuse, you know, all those things to be saved from. But I, re and I remember struggling with that a little bit in high school when we would, cause I was involved in youth group and you would, um, I grew up going to McGregor Baptist. And so we would, you know, practice being able to say our testimony and things like that. And I was always like, mm, I mean, mine's pretty boring. Yeah. So there's not much to say, but I had a friend who had also a very boring testimony and he was like, no, that, that is the testimony. That is the yeah. testimony. It's, the testimony is that we get to benefit from a, a life grown up in God's environment yep. and the way God designed it with some providence and faithfulness involved and, and all these things that, that, that ends up being the testimony. Well, it's Helps even it works. like you saying the testimony, it's even, you know, in, in our show, you guys have listened to it. It gets deep, man. We come from a crazy mm -hmm. life. But, you know, having that talk with Jackson and Nevaeh and Elijah that nobody talked to me in the right way about, hey, man, no, you save yourself. Like, that's what awesome testimony could that be? You know what I mean? Or it, that's like an unheard of thing now. You know what I mean? Like, or, or, hey, man, you know, I want you to marry the same woman and be with her. And t you know what yeah. I mean? Like, having those talks yeah. of godly principles right you know that's the awesome testimony the awesome testimony is that you guys have been married how long how long have you been married on 23 years 23 years wow and you're still married and now reese is is he still pole vaulting did he no, do that he's he not he did it he did it uh, for a season of, during his freshman year and has decided he just what wants to he wants to go to, to school to, to go to school play intramural basketball mm -hmm. enjoy college yeah. sometimes when you're a division one athlete a lot of those other things you can't do yeah, yeah. so he's he's he's, he's doing fun. it well good, good. But, but good kid you know what yes, i'm saying he's a great like great kid it, it's i i can't and and it's the whole way that i wanted this to go is why is because marriage god's way works 100 percent of the time and you guys are living proof of that so Bring us to, you know, you guys met in second grade, yeah. right? Okay, good <laughs> Lord. She was so what, cute. What, what did Becky she look so like? Cute. Did she have her hair up and a ribbon? Come on, she Scott. Had, tell us about She had just this little blonde hair, and and, and she was mm -hmm. she was new to the school. I had been there, so I, I knew how things work. You know, I was mm -hmm. an experienced second grader. That's right. She came in. And, I do uh, knew where we've the always been tall. He knew where so the markers were. Yeah. He could reach the markers. Tall, so he could reach them. Yes, yes. She could, she could see me because I was tall. Right. But uh, she was very cute, and I recognized that at an early age. Um, and um, had a crush on her, and and I don't I don't know at what point she started to have a crush on me, but you know throughout our kind of school career, uh, we, our crushes never really matched up. Right, um, time. And, uh, right, I get it. So there's a couple of funny stories. So one, uh, it was um, third grade, I think. I, I wrote her a little note. I think it was fifth grade. No, but... fifth grade was the dedication of the song. Okay. Yeah, third oh, grade. This is getting deep. Them, yeah. This is getting deep. Yeah. So third third grade, third grade okay. you know. So you have crushing defeats when you have a crush on someone, right? right. So yes. imagine your third grade self right. getting the courage to write a note saying, will you go I couldn't write until sixth grade. No. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> I, grew, I grew up down south. Check the box. <laughs> I was in Tennessee. Like yes or no. <laughs> will you kidding. go? Check, it was, it was right. literally like a country song. So will you go out and check yes right. or no? Check yes or no. And then, and then like but you didn't sign your name. From your secret admirer. Uh, SG, I, I put my initials like I think it was all three. It was S, S A G. Well, Ray like Charles could have seen that. that. And and I can, it's not very hard. <laughs> Stevie I wouldn't wonder. It out. No. I could so, have uh, and, and then finding out that, she, that, that when she got the note, she threw it in the trash. Crushing, yeah, big. Which I don't defeat. think you knew that then. It was only like later on, <sighs> years later, when we were. So like, you didn't really check response. the box? So that no, was third was, grade. Third grade. Why? All right. It was really, I was embarrassed. I was really embarrassed. I was very flustered. I couldn't figure out exactly who it was from, and oh. I threw it in the trash. So that is so crushing the feet there. Yes, All right. yes. So to give to give me two years, <laughs> right. and now I'm in fifth grade. Now right? you're taller, and, and now you're starting to play some ball a little bit. So how how old are you guys? I'm fifty. I'll 49. be fifty one. Okay, Good so looking you know, fifty, Scott. You guys yeah. both look like you're thirty. So. <laughs> Uh, you, We're you know, that's my guy right here. Yeah. Sam, right here. Man, no that's, a, that's a no good, lying, right. that's a good, stable <laughs> Christian man authentic. right there. So you remember the days of sitting around and listening to the radio stations and people would dedicate songs. Oh, buddy, right? yes. I got yes. stories. You'd have to call, in. Have to call, call in. and hope the DJ didn't talk yeah. halfway through it. And you and you would call and call and call and call oh, just man, to pick up. And then yeah. and then if they picked up, oh, they, they picked yeah, up. Right. And so so I did it. Fifth grade one night. 
you know, and every, you know, everybody in school is listening to the same radio right. station. Oh, so yes. like, oh, what was the radio called. station here then? You guys you remember what it was? It was called the Spark. The Spark. But I can't remember the Spark. Ninety-one point five. No, it was I think it was like ninety-one point five. The Spark so, or something. So they, I called out to and the Spark. They, they I know. Got, who knows? They picked up. And, and I actually dedicated answered. a song. What song was this? I got to hear. Becky Newkirk from. Scott, did I say Secret Admirer that time too? That's I G, think you baby. Said your name. I, I said don't know. Name. S- I, I don't S-G. think I heard it. So the song was Fifth Grade. Um, I feel the earth <laughs> yes. move under my, my feet. feet. I feel the sky mm. tumbling down. Tumbling down. Yep. So that was oh, the song. It was a popular song. Shoot. What year would was that it? have been? I know. So I don't grade. know if it was popular that year. Because you guys are. Yeah, how old are you guys? So 40, fifth grade would have been like 90? 45, 46. Oh, man, I was in prison. Um, I was in high school. 1990? <laughs> I mean, college. You were not. You was in college. <laughs> I, I was in high school. You were still there. I yeah, was in Gift Avenue Detention so, Center. Shout out Gift Avenue. So then the next day, right? You're <laughs> that like, was a joke. I'm joking. Wondering, Feel like wondering hey. how everybody's going to react and. And she wouldn't even look at me. She wouldn't talk to I, me. I, and I was probably, I think I was embarrassed, embarrassed again. Yeah. Yeah. But I took it as rejection. Catching me so. off guard, yes. Yeah. I was rejected again. So fifth grade. Fifth grade. Man, yeah, that's, that, that's some pretty good game, though. What? I thought so. I mean, a fifth grader should have had these on right here, oh, these Nevins. That, Nevins. Give me the Nevins. that, that would, would have been done. game, baby, with the Nevins. That's they, what I needed. If when I, I was back wearing those in fifth time. grade, like the people would have thought I was an alien or yeah. something. Man, styles have, have thought, changed. Right? Those things are cool looking now, though. So, okay, you, so he's showing some serious game here. Yes. I mean, she didn't think so. She still well, she, doesn't she think I have game. I think. Well, I think. Well, she obviously thinks she got game. She's been married for twenty-three years. She felt sorry for me eventually. So that was fifth <laughs> That's grade. That's what right? happened here too. And so we, oh we move on. Mm-hmm. Now we, we go to the we, now we graduate fifth grade. We go on to middle school. Mm-hmm. When's and, the next uh, middle school together too? You, yeah. you take on the middle school years because because the, well, the crush like kind of turned. It shifted. Right. shifted in now you were like, oh. hey, bro. he's done. He's got. I, I took my all. shot. I mean, he was a she yeah. rejected me. I got to move strikes. on. So like, hey, you get to middle school. It's a whole new world. There's a oh, whole new, yeah. whole new world of girls out there too, and um, yeah. So we went to. We and went now to, you're balling in middle school. Oh yeah, right. Now, you, now you're That's hanging out with you're older kids. Get, even yeah. too, and were you the cheerleader? Becky? I was not. No, not I was always mean. very just like a low key, not. She looks like she could be a cheerleader, but she, she totally she's totally right. Yeah, we call me sneaky unathletic. Because right. <laughs> <laughs> people say, "Oh, sneaky athletic," because they look at you and they're like, "You can't." play Run. sports mm-hmm. and then you actually can and we're the, i'm the opposite people be like oh you must have played sports you're cheating i was like no don't i'm not a, i'm actually my family's decided my family of of athletes has decided i'm not allowed to run in public because it's so embarrassing <laughs> don't you want her to run okay wait but you had to be wicked smart i'm wicked smart good will honey smart. Yes. i played piano so oh okay so that, yeah you yes. got talents okay, you got some different talents the, going on yes so anyways, probably good with money too Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, I was yeah. a finance major. Yeah, so, yeah. see, oh, look, yeah. man, I, this guy yeah. right here, can't do it all. man, I'm telling you, man, growing you got, up in pool halls, you got a six cents. You can read. Six <laughs> cents, oh, he's good at it. That's awesome. Yeah. He's good at it. Yeah, so okay. go ahead. So, Could well, keep on middle school years. So now, oh, now Scott, so he's a G. He's playing ball. Listen yeah. a little two pack, if you will, a little two pack <laughs> one day, <laughs> George straight the next day. Yes. 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 Good nailed call. it. Nailed it. All right. Yeah. No, so the crush shifted in, in middle school. Um, and he he wasn't that interested, especially eighth grade. By eighth grade, it was like. Tell um, her about the bus ride, though. The bus ride with the song. Man, I just love a, that you guys story. remember this and have this. I know. I had a bus ride, but anyway, they were. I know. <laughs> well, we yeah. I mean, that was back when you know you rode the bus. Everybody rode the bus still back then. Right. And yeah. they were the bus rides were adventurous as yeah, they are. That's why no one our age lets stuff. the kids ride the bus. Right. Because they're like, no, I remember riding the bus. It was a fight every day. There was who knows what was going to happen. Um, but. <laughs> So, you know, Discman's, that was the thing yeah. back then. You had Discman's. So I yeah. decided to take a Discman on the bus with me and invite Scott to sit next to me Aww. on the bus Uh-oh. so that I could have him listen to the song. So it was, I guess it was my version of dedicating yeah, song. You, yeah, no, that was. But oh, privately. Well, like her, this, not on the radio, oh, yes. Right. But it was, I mean, to this day, it was a Celine Dion song. Oh, it was. Called not Water something from the Moon. That, it, Bad. I don't know. Never. As a I guy, mean, you I don't even know what she's. Saying. No, no one's ever heard of it. It's so obscure. <laughs> well, see, but it meant something. I mean, she's deep. Yeah. She, it, it meant it, something to her. So I, 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 she, she, she couldn't have even there. requested that song. No, no one would have known it. it. it right. you know, they'd be like, no, like and I was that. like, my eyes started thinking, this girl's going crazy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was. A, I, I shifted <laughs> like. So, so what is this? Seventh yeah. grade? This is eighth grade. Eighth grade? Eighth yeah, these grade. are the stories too. Where if we'll tell the boys, they'll be like, "Oh, mom, you were one of those." Oh, <laughs> yes, I was. I shifted, and all of a sudden, I'm like, 
a little bit obsessive. Oh, she's got journals, stalky. entries, but like yeah. during eighth grade, saying she you was, still have she them? was going to marry. We, me. I do. Yep, we still have them. That's yep, amazing. They were she had that it all figured out. I didn't we know. Talk about it. stability. Yes, there's some. <laughs> I don't even have a school picture. <laughs> Let it go. Bro. Yeah, let I'm, it go. I'm doing let a lot go. better since counseling, guys. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, I'm healing over here. Cookie game. No. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. We, yes, that's another one of those privileges, right? We no, that's awesome. No, that's no, that but really beautiful. all in it's jokes, true. making no, jokes. That's awesome, true. though. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. a fun story. To yeah. Tell. yeah. So, no, you, that's like so have you read them? So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've we, seen we them. It's been we a while, though. We should, we should get them back You should out. do that. We should read oh, them with the boys. Oh, yeah. Then they really realize how dorky their mom was. Right. That's true. They realize <laughs> it. What did I you don't say? need to need any. <laughs> give them more ammo. Yeah. All right. Well, already. Trey sent me one of those journals. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, move on to the eighth grade dance. Right, great. Graduation, oh, eighth grade dance. Right. So, this is when it all came together for the first time. So, Eighth grade dance. Back in the day, dances were a little different. You, you yeah. really yeah. just waited until a slow song to dance and with then a girl. You, went on there, like yeah. you didn't. It, it wasn't like like it is now. No, um, as much like no. It's still. I mean, it was PG thirteen. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Chaperones yeah. everywhere. You don't want, you don't want chaperones. Dance. Dance. No, no. 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 Yeah. Um, but so yeah, eighth grade dance. You're waiting for the last song to come on, right? right? And, Make and your you're finding song. the right girl to dance with. Yeah, I know about and, it. And um, and so. Which song came on, babe? Uh, it was Whitney Houston. Mm. I'll mm. always love you. Yeah. Oh. I, always love you. Oh. I mean, that was pretty. Yeah, I mean, oh, 1993. Shit. That would have been quintessential. Yeah. And the so, bodyguard. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And yeah. so we we danced. Classic. Mm -hmm. And did we kiss? Oh my goodness! Could dance he dance? Floor. Could Scott dance? No. No, I can't. No. Can you dance? I, now? I really like to dance, but I can't. It's tough. He's so good. tall. Well, it's, it's back so to that white then, privilege. Even then, <laughs> tall, goofy, white guy. It's this kind of dancing. You know, like my arms are the way up here. Oh yeah, because you're shorter. So yeah, so there's a picture. Oh my gosh. We'll have to, we're going to have, have this pop comments. up in Maybe the middle of the comments. Yeah, we'll send yeah. it to you. Yeah, you we're going really to have a picture. picture. We, we will have the um, picture yeah. oh, popping yeah. up. Oh, it is probably. like her. It's, it's like really. That's really awesome. So that's so. eighth grade. <laughs> yeah. And then okay, you so guys wait, go wait, to the next day. We kissed. Oh, and yeah. then that was it. That was kind of it. It was like you didn't talk to each other the next day. It was the end of school. We didn't see each other much. It wasn't like there were cell phones like there are now. Yeah, no. We had the uh, you, and I was how upset. far did you guys live from each other? Because, you know, we were back yeah. from a day where we rode bikes yeah. or you might yeah, like, see people. We didn't like, like that anymore. Bike ride, you know? We weren't very far. Do you know where each like other lived? Mile. Yes. We did. Yeah. Yes. So that, that comes back later in the story. Is okay. going on? Okay, let's go. So Seriously. summer starts or eighth grade So ends, summer starts school. and we are going to different high schools now. Mm. So we've been going. To, so she, she ends up going to Fort Myers like like most of all of our friends. <laughs> and uh, and I was going to Bishop Row. Okay. Oh, and oh, um, and so kid. that's where yes. yeah. the the split Spoiled happened. Right. right. Yeah. Like we just we just didn't really see each other yeah. much for for and it's, yeah you go three on. And a half life years. starts yeah. kind of when you hit high school. And, but she was she was my first kiss. Right. Mm. So that was that was a big deal yeah. for me. Um, and that you got the picture, and, my man, and oh you're still married. I That's was, amazing. I was you should get that picture first. tattooed on you. I want you to get that picture tattooed on your back. Oh, on my back. I yeah. didn't want another tattoo. Yeah, let's so. go, man. I gotta, I gotta catch tattoo. up to you. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Tattoo party. Um, so yeah, so, so it was my first kiss that meant a lot to me, but right. not, it wasn't her first kiss. You didn't hear me say that earlier. Right. Um, it's all right. That's all right. So wait, wait, wait. Becky was writing in the journals. Yeah. Yeah, she's playing like, the song for you and you kissed another guy. Well, I mean, Becky. hey, man, it's eighth yeah, grade. You gotta do what you gotta go do, man. Let's talk about it. I mean, both of my years in eighth grade, both of my years in eighth grade, buddy. I don't know what else. I, did, I had several boyfriends in middle school still. I mean, she he was did. kind of always the one and he Becky was never was a interested. Pleasure. I don't a little bit, yeah. No journal but, you know, entries for them. The no. middle school boyfriends are like, that's oh, okay. right. You hold no okay. journal entries for them. That's true. You were special. She's just passing the time, right? She was waiting. You know how eighth grade is, man. She got a little bored. Mine. Just yeah. waiting. <laughs> so you kind of fast forward over high school through senior year of high school, and you played a lot of sports. I played imagine. basketball, baseball. Um, she was going to Fort Myers, Brainiac, in the IB mm -hmm. program. Uh, she was, like worked. she said, a musician. She worked. Right. She was, you know, she 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 was doing great. But we we saw we ran each other. Um, I was leaving a birthday party from a friend's house, and she was leaving. A young life mm -hmm. event. Okay. In, in in Whiskey Creek, right? Fort Myers, mm -hmm. and um, just walking each other's car, and we happen to be parked right next to each other at wow. two different places. Like, hey. And so ran into each other, said hi, caught up, and then 
we both got in our cars and we're driving home. Well, if you're driving, I'm in front of her, she's behind me. Mm-hmm. I remembered where her street was. Right. So I just pulled into her street and she pulled in behind me and I waved her, waved her for her. Right. And she, she pulled up next to me and I was like, you should, you should really call me. And that was my move. Right. And, the, and I'm going to get, to, this is why, like, I thought I was a player at right. this point, guys. Uh, no, you're supposed to call me, right, yeah. Becky? Right. I, but, but here's why. Right. The, you're going you're gonna to hear why I said you should call me. I have my own phone personalized line. phone line. Oh, yeah, He's man. one of those kids. So, I remember so, those. Those. Make, 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 I'll tell you a story parents. about what we used to do to those, but go ahead. 337 <laughs> Scott. With oh, my phone this number. guy! <laughs> this guy had a teen telephone uh, line. Yes. Those were called teen telephone yes. lines. You look them up. Parents if they would have looked up so Guttery funny. in the phone book, it would have been your mom and dad's number, mm-hmm. and then it would say yes. teen yes. telephone, right. and it would have me. your number. Yes. That was me. Yeah. So instead Scott. of me like, wow, you know, like get that's your number, gangster. I'll call that's kind of gangster. Like, look, here's my number. It's here's easy, baby. Three three seven Scott. Right. Oh my God. And that sounds so cheesy now, right? But no, it works. No, that would be cool. Now, right. I mean, if, you know, so I went and got okay, business cards made with my phone number on it mm. when I was about oh, 16. Did. Mm. Mm. Hey, did you have a beeper? Oh, man, buddy. Yeah, yeah, Come on, man. I was in sales, man. <laughs> yeah. I had two beepers, man. <laughs> sales business. Oh, he's always been a good sales. I love you, Mom. Becky? You a hustler? So, yeah. So, you, 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 so now. Did you? What did you say when he said you should call me? Well, I had a boyfriend. We so. had a serious. What's boyfriend his name? But I didn't know that. I just met her. I just saw her. You lucky buddy. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. I just wasn't trying to break up anybody, but right. No, yeah, and we, yeah, we had been dating for. So it was pretty semi serious. Two and a half years. Yeah, but he was oh, off yeah, college. He was older. Boyfriend. He was off college. Anyways, so I, I did go to school the next day, and a couple of like my buddies, mm-hmm. who we we all grew up together, and they knew Becky. Right. Like, you aren't going to believe who I ran into last last night. I ran into Becky Newkirk. Man, she looked so good. And mm-hmm. I want I gave Had her my cool number. Right. You know, I got the number. And she's going to call me. And they said, she ain't ever calling you. She's, oh. They knew. They knew her you. Her and her boyfriend. Yeah. Was like, she's got a college guy. She she's not that calling guy. you. Yeah. And so That's that was so. You go ahead. Why did you call me? Well, <laughs> he uh, needs to know. Did, so, <laughs> like, we. I, well, you ended up breaking up. That the, my boyfriend came home for. Uh, I don't trust him. What an idiot! I don't home, trust him. I don't trust you. <laughs> but he came home for Thanksgiving break, and I don't know. It just that that relationship probably. I mean, obviously, it had run its course. Like he was older. He was new. I, I don't so, trust him. And now I had been like, oh, I didn't know that you were like still that Scott Guttery still existed and was out there. And I think He's I even mentioned there. it. I think that, I think I mentioned it. I was like, hey, guess who I ran into? Scott Guttery. And he said I should call him and we might catch up and. That it was Matt. His name was you Matt. You mentioned that to your boyfriend. Yeah, and he was like, "No, absolutely Might not." He knew. Up. I mean, he Matt. knew the backstory a little bit. He knew enough of the backstory because Scott had been enough a part of my life. And he read he the journal. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> right? He saw the now journal. Now you see why we're just <laughs> yeah, like. He's like, "No, you're, you're not going to call him." He's to like, "You mean Scott up. on page this 18? Yes. Yeah, right. Scott on page 46, 47." <laughs> no, I'm just the Celine Dion song. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you never gave me sleep. Where's your diss man? Right? Yeah, I never did. So anyway, so that that fell apart. And um and we broke up and so then I was like, well, I guess three three seven Scott. Scott.